So moving up in our video series, this video will be dedicated to dock rising and angular application and will set up a development environment without having Node.js installed in our own machine. So do stick with me to find out more. Hello and what's up guys, Medium Guy here. Welcome to the next video in my video series about dock rising different technologies. And in this video, we're going to see how to set up a Docker development environment for Angular application. And of course, we'll be running our containers using Docker Compose. So stick with me and without any delay, let's get down to work. So as you can see over here in my GitHub repository, which I'll put the link down below so you can access all the codes and examples and configurations that I make in my videos. So no worries about the codes. So as you can see over here, I've got a nice basic Angular application, which has of course the package.json file and all the files that belongs to the source code, including the component HTML, which holds the basic markup for our Angular application. And of course, there is a Docker file, which will be creating an image and then we'll make a container and mount our application source code inside the container and then we'll actually be able to run and develop and see the hot reloading live results in our browser. So first thing I'll switch the package.json file over here I've got my scripts section which in this case I'll be using the start script which will be interpreted to ng serve dash dash host 000 and all the other stuff which includes the dependencies and dev dependencies that I'd actually need to run my application. And of course we have the source code for the Angular application, one of them being the app component HTML which actually holds the markup for our page that we'll be seeing in the browser. So of course I'm not going to deep dive in the Angular and its file system and routing and any other stuff because this one is actually about dockerizing it and not developing it. So the main thing we have the docker file over here which is located exactly the same location as our source code's root exists. So basically I'm going to use the node version 1701 as the base image for my docker image that I want to create and in the next step I've set a working directory which will be slash project and the next instruction I'm going to actually install the angular CLI globally so that I'll be able to use the ng command that it provides the next step I'm going to copy the package.json and package.json.lock inside the working directory so actually I'll be able to run npmi and install my dependencies so I'll be actually able to run my application. The next instruction, I'll copy dot to dot, which will basically copy everything that exists in the same location as my Docker file exists inside the working directory that I've defined over here. The next instruction, I'm going to actually expose the port 4200, which will be the default port that the Angular application will be running and so actually I'll be able to access that port when I want to create container and I'll be able to access it from the browser and actually see my pages that I've created in the Angular application. So the next and the last instruction will be the command instruction which will actually run the npm start which as you might know will not run when creating the image actually it will be run when we want to create a container out of this image so basically the difference between the run and cmd instruction will be the run instruction will actually be run when creating the image and the cmd or command will be run when we want to create a container out of this image so with that being said, 
we actually have our things ready to build our image so I'll move to the terminal I'll hit ls I'll cd into angular ls again and in here I see that I have my docker file and source code for my application so the command that I'll be using will be docker build dash t which will actually let me choose a name and a tag name for my image that I'm creating so I'll provide awesome dash angular and by hitting colon I'll be able to actually choose a tag name for my image so I'll say latest which will be by default choosing if I didn't pass the tag name and next and the last parameter I'll pass dot as the pass that all my files actually exist so I'll hit enter and wait for the docker engine to actually go ahead and build my image so as this might take a little bit while I'm going to fast forward to the time that the image is built so I'll catch you guys up later so welcome back it took a little bit long while for me I hope it doesn't take that much long for you because it was really annoying so as a result I've actually got my image ready and now I'll be able to use that image to run and create containers so I'll come back a directory back and hit ls in here I want to create a docker compose file so I'll say touch docker compose dot yaml and by hitting code docker compose dot yaml I'll be able to have it opened in my editor and in here I'll actually start to define my services so the first thing I'm going to say the version which I'll pass 3.3 .3. and next I'll say services in here I'll pass a service name so I'll pass angular dash app as the service name and in that I'll actually need to define the image that I want to use which will be awesome angular which is actually the image that I just created and next I'm going to actually define the ports that I want to map to my machine so I'll say 4200 to be mapped to the exact same port inside the container and actually next thing I'm going to mount the volumes which will be the source code of the angular application to inside the container that I want to create so I'll say dot slash angular to be mapped inside the container with the path of project which is exactly the same location the same directory that was my working directory when I wanted to create my image and because I have the node modules inside the container and I'm copying the source code to the exact same location as the node modules exist and if I want to not make it overwrite that node modules I'm just going to pass the slash project slash node underline modules which will prevent the mounting to overwrite that exact same directory so I'm going to save the docker compose file and actually the point in here is that in the dot docker ignore file I've defined the node modules directory to actually tell the docker engine to ignore that directory and so as a result I'll be able to have the node modules which has created inside the image when I was actually installing the dependencies to be untouched and contain all the dependencies that are required for this application so I'll switch to the terminal the only thing that I need to say is say docker compose up dash d which will actually try to create the services that I've defined in the docker compose.yaml file one by one and because I only have one service defined in the docker compose it is going to only create one container so as you can see the docker compose up 
has been done successfully and if I hit docker compose ps I'll actually be able to see the containers that this exact docker compose file has created and as the result I can see that the 4200 port has been mapped to the 4200 port inside the container and if I go to browser I'll hit localhost port 4200 and as you can see I have the basic angular application as the result so this is a totally hot reloading application that is up and running in order to test it if I go to the HTML file and in here if I try to make some changes like for example I'll say docrise angular I'll save it if I switch back to the browser it should have a hot reloading and as the result I'll be able to see my changes that I created in the HTML file so that's it for this video that's all about the dockerization of angular application and setting up a development environment without needing to actually install node.js in our host machine all the dependencies and runtime environment and everything is actually installed inside the docker container and it is totally isolated from our host machine so i hope you get the idea if you have any questions if you have any recommendations just go ahead and ask me in the comment section down below and of course don't forget to watch my other videos in this video series we have the dockerizations for other technologies and of course the dockerization for other technologies are upcoming in this video series so tune in to not to miss them and please do like and subscribe and with that i hope to see you in the next videos